So this is just going to be a quick tutorial to show you how to have one menu pop up over the other in the simplest way I can think of to do it. So let's do it. This is in Unity. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get a new scene and we're going to make a canvas and we're going to name the canvas main menu. So we've got a new main menu and then in this main menu we're going to add UI image and we're going to expand it and make it some obnoxious colour because for now we're just showing what we're doing and we're going to name it background and then we're going to go UI and we're going to do a button in the middle of the screen and we're going to make it nice and big so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so now we've got a nice button and it comes with text so we're going to make the text say pop up and we're going to make it big bold and beautiful and that can just stay in that colour. Right, so when we click on this button we're going to have the options menu pop up and highlighted colour can be an obnoxious green colour, pressed colour can be blue. So let's just give that a test already. There we go, I can click on it. Okay, so now we want, within this main menu, we want to add a UI panel. And so this panel is going to be options menu. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the background colour because we're only using this as a container. That's all I'm using this for. So then within this, we're then going to add an image. And we're going to have it pop up over the top. But we want to know that we can still see the background because that's what I'm teaching here. So that's going to be the options background. And then we're going to add UI button. And actually, we're going to go back up here and we're going to get this button and we're going to paste it. And we're going to put it here. Top down. I'm going to rename this one. Pop up. And we're going to change pop down a little so it's just a different colour so you know for sure that we are doing a different one. So if we hit play now, there we go, that's the pop up button. Which, oh yeah, because I didn't change the text. Duh. Change the text to pop down. And we have a working pop down button. So to make it pop up the panel, we need a script. So my script is over here, which we're going to use options canvas because unfortunately this is what I already use. So I'm going to copy this out. And I'm going to create a new script, which I'm going to name, if I can find C sharp, uh, pop up options. And I'm going to open this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to call Unity Engine, Unity Engine UI Systems Collection. And we're going to make sure the class is named the right thing. And then in monitor behavior, we're going to call a public game object of options canvas. We're going to start it with the canvas set to false. We're going to show inst to options canvas set active true. And we're going to hide inst to set active false. So that's pretty simple. We're going to save that script. I will put the script in the description so you can have it. And we're going to apply the script to main menu. And then we're going to go to our pop up button. We're going to go click here to add a new one. We're going to use the main menu object and we're going to go new function pop up options and we're going to do show inst for pop up. On pop down, we're going to apply the same thing. We're going to use the same object and we're going to right there and we're going to go hide. And then up at main menu, we're going to apply the options menu panel to that point. And then this is the important part, so it doesn't automatically pop up to the top. We're going to untick the options menu on Inspector up here. So then when we run the game, click, pops up, pops down, pops up, pops down. This is the easiest way that I have found to pop up and pop down. Hope this helped a lot, and I will see you next time.